Opera wine, opera wine, opera wine! Maria Sabrina Tedeschi, Agricola Fratelli Tedeschi. And uh, the family has had the estate since 1630, is that correct? Uh, yes, uh, uh, we are uh, one of the historical uh, family producers in Barbolicella area. And um, um, our ancestors dedicate uh, the la their life uh, to the viticulture in Barbolicella, but uh, for sure it was uh, my father in uh, 17, uh, sorry, 1970 years uh, changed the philosophy production into more quality production. And uh, today we are uh, artisanal producers still, uh, with a production limited uh, to 8 million bottles per year. But uh, we, we control everything, from vines uh, to the sales. Uh, the family control uh, uh, everything uh, on the production. And what wine do you have here today? Uh, we have uh, the great wine of, uh, from Valpolicella, so the Amarone. Especially this one is our top level uh, Amarone, because it's a special selection from High Hill. And uh, we produce it just in a very special vintage. So the last one was a 2007. But uh, from uh, 1983, we had uh, produced just uh, six vintages. Uh, so very special, very limited production, uh, up to uh, 3,000 bottles per year, not more. Uh, so very, very special, uh, very niche production. Can I taste that, please? Oh, yes. Now, in this wine, you actually have um, the classic grapes, but you have some Ossoletto as well. Y yes. Uh, uh, 95% is uh, Corvina, Corvinone, Rondinella, and 5% of Ozoleta is uh, also autochthon varieties that give uh, a lot of colors, a lot of tannins uh, to, to wines, uh, so structure uh, to, the, to this wine. This one is uh, a full body, definitely uh, marrone, uh, but uh, is, uh, a, um, is, a, is a still elegant wine, uh, so every time we search elegance, powerful and elegance at the same time. It's very long, it's still young, uh, but it's a wine uh, you can uh, enjoy in uh, 20 years uh, with no problem. This is a 2007. To me, it's not really even ready to drink. I think it needs even a little bit more time. Y yes, uh, and uh, this wine uh, was bottled uh, one year uh, ago. And uh, 2007, uh, yes, uh, the best, uh, I think, uh, starts uh, to give uh, the next year. Usually, we consider seven years after the grape harvest, uh, especially for full body wines like, uh, like this one. I love the dark berry flavors. It's yeah. a licorice, uh, very rich. Balsamic notes, uh, yeah. It's a, uh, when uh, we produce a wine, so we think uh, always about the complexity. Uh, and so uh, different things of different character, characteristic of the wines, uh, but are well balanced. So it means uh, elegance of the wines. Uh, but it's very, very complex uh, and probably is best, uh, better next year. But it's a very, as, in the future. as you say, it's a very powerful wine. What sort of food would you have with this? I think you have to be a little careful to have the right food. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, the traditional foods like uh, Parmesan cheeses, uh, so aged cheeses, uh, green cheeses, uh, and uh, beef, uh, grains, uh, and also this wine, uh, I consider uh, good for, with the chocolate, bitter chocolates. Uh, I think it's perfect uh, also after dinner. Uh, and how long do you think this 2007 will last? Do you have any idea? Uh, I think uh, it's a one of the keeping, the best keeping uh, vintage in the last decade. Uh, so uh, it's uh, the wines for special occasions, so for special anniversary. And I think uh, you can keep uh, more than 20 years. Thank you very much. Thank D you. Delicious you. wine. Opera wine, opera wine, opera wine!